Hi, this is Jeff Hicks. I wanted to take a few minutes to demonstrate a script uh, that I've just published called Morning Report. Uh, this script uses PowerShell and WMI to connect to a computer and retrieve a lot of information that you might want to see, perhaps, say, on a daily basis. So this script, which is in my S drive here, uh, does have complete help. So you can do help and the name of the script. You can rename it if you want. Um, the help file might need to be adjusted. And you can see there are basically three ways to use this. The script enforces my idea of reusability. So by default, I will write objects to the pipeline. Or if I want, I can have output formatted as HTML or as text. Basically, I connect to a computer. If I want, I can specify a title and the hours parameter one of the things that the script will do is query the system log and the application log going back X number of hours, the default is 24 hours, and retrieve all errors and warnings, and that gets part of the morning report. So let's go ahead and use this. In the default mode, it's going to write an object, a custom object, to the pipeline. And the default is the local host, so we'll just run that. And you can see it writes a little message to the screen. So it retrieves some operating system information, some computer system, information about services, including services that are set to auto start but are not running, some disk information, network adapters. And now you can see it's querying system event logs in the last 24 hours. And then in a moment, there we go, it's now doing the application event logs. Now all of this, by default, is written to an object and I've saved that object as $R. If I pipe $R to get member, you can see that I have created a custom object with a bunch of note properties. These note properties are nested objects themselves. So if I look at, for example, the operating system property, right, there is my information that came from WMI that is applied back to this object or computer system. Let's look at disks. Now that is another object, so if I wanted to, I could just format that output to something a little nicer. For example, let's pipe it to format table. All right, so I get objects, and this is what I like about PowerShell, is reusing and reformatting however I need it. So for example, system log. Those are the event logs that have happened in the last 24 hours on this computer. And that's kind of hard to read, so I'll just go ahead and reformat that, uh, let's say, as a list. All right, so using an object makes things more reusable. I can slice and dice and do things as I want. Now, I may want to do something else, such as creating the text report or an HTML report. If you look at the examples, you can see there are a number of ways that you might use this script. So let's go ahead and run the morning report again. This time, just to speed it up, I'm only going to search for the last hour of event logs, and I'm going to create a text file. So the script will take the same objects that it got from WMI for the event logs and disks and network adapters and all that, but it's going to format it as nice pretty text. And I'm just going to send it to the clipboard so I can paste it into Notepad. You could pipe it to OutFile or do whatever else you want with it. I don't want to have to force someone to try to figure out how do I do all this to text so they, if they want text output, they can have it. Most of the time I like working with objects, but there may be situations where you want to have just nice formatted, pretty looking text. So you could save it to a file, pipe it to out printer, do whatever you want to do with it. All right, so that has finished. Let's go ahead and open up Notepad. And let me just paste in the results, so there is the results. You can see I've got nothing in the application log. And I've got a little footer here that shows me the version of the script, uh, the time it was run, and who ran it. So there's all the event log information. There's my network information. I'm just going to jump up to the top. All right, so computer system, operation system oper operating system. Here are all the services. Scroll down. network adapters, and the drive information. So this is nice, simple text that I can use however I want to. So I'm going to go ahead and close that, because I don't really need to say that for right now. And the last thing I want to show you is creating an HTML report. So I'm going to create a file name here. 
and I'm going to run my script and I'm going to connect to Chicago FP01. I'm just going to get the last four hours of event log information. I can specify a title and that dash HTML is going to write HTML code. Now if I did not pipe this anything, I would just get HTML code right to the screen, which is fine because there may be times where I just want that HTML code. Um, I'm just going ahead and pipe it to out5 because I want to save this to a to that HTML file that I specified. So that's going to run there. You may want though, as I was saying, to save this information as pure HTML code because you could use the send mail message and attach either the file or create an actual HTML mail message and use the code that came from the script as the body of your mail message. That would be totally cool. Then you could set this on a scheduled basis and in your email you would get this formatted system report. So let's go ahead and I'm going to invoke item on that HTML file which should open up the file in Internet Explorer. Now I've added a little graphic here with Zazu from uh, the Lion King who does the morning report. You could put in your company logo however you want to do it. I've also taken the liberty of adding some network some navigation here in the HTML document. So everything here, there's the system summary, there are all the services. The services in the HTML document are sorted by running and then stopped. I can also use these to jump around. So there's my network adapters. There's a system services that have uh, failed to start that are set to auto start. And of course I can jump back up to the top. So I can put this information, I can create this file, put it on my internet server or do whatever I want with it. And I have a nice little system summary that I could look at every morning to find out what's going on, especially check event logs that have happened the last 24 hours to see what I need to deal with. All right, so I hope you find that useful. You can download the script and read more about it on my blog. And if you'd like to learn more about PowerShell um, or have me come teach you and mentor you, I'd be happy to. Just let me know. Thank you very much for your time.